Hello everyone, and welcome to Yoshi1 Kenobi's Toski Bearer of Secrets deck. In this deck, the goal is to play a mutated squirrel that survives the apocalypse over and over and over again. So the idea is that we use Toski's ability to be indestructible, uncounterable, and to draw cards whenever it attacks. But especially the indestructibility part. So we play Toski, and then we play board wipe, clean out our opponent's creature. And then we're forced to attack, which we want to anyways, which will allow us to draw a card. The opponent replaces the creature with more creatures, we play another board wipe, Tos Toski survives, we get to attack, draw more cards, and gain a huge card advantage to eventually dominate our opponent. But just playing board wipes like that, we're eventually going to run out, and if the opponent has a blocker, then we're running our 1-1 into a bigger blocker, and that just doesn't do. Which is why we're going to be mutating our Toski Bear of Secrets into an insatiable hemophage, or Death Touch Toski, as I like to call it. So suddenly our opponent is going to have the tough choice. Do they commit multiple creatures to the board, and then we'll wipe them? Do they commit a single blocker to the board, in which case, if our attack goes through, we get to draw a card. If they block, they lose the creature to the death touch. So let's go over the actual cards in the list. We're playing Shatter the Sky, 4 mana board wipe, Doomscar, 3 or 5 mana board wipe, Storm's Wrath, 4 mana pretty much a board wipe, and 3 Realm Cloak Giants with the cast off, which it, it makes us do 4, 8, 12, 15 board wipes into the deck. With 8 targeted removal spells, that's pretty much the only thing we're playing outside of Toski. Now, because we're playing legendary indestructible creatures, we're also including Brash Donner, uh, because it's also going to survive our rats. And if we manage to mutate the Brash Donner, then we have a 3 3 Death Touch creature that gets to fight creatures on command, which is basically a Tap 3, remove, and burn the opponent. That will survive our rats. And that's the deck. It's very, very linear, very streamlined. It just blows up the board and keeps the squirrel surviving the apocalypse. Now, of course, there are some downsides to the deck in that we scoop to Doom Foretold and we scoop to Ugin, but otherwise, it's extremely fun. So let's see this deck in action with some game. We are playing Tusky in MTG Arena Standard against Morpheus. Let's see what we've got. Three lands, a Tusky, and three board wipes. Sounds like a keeper. We're missing the double red though. Which is a bit of a problem. Depends what our opponents want. Ah, uh, there's the double red. It's all good. Opponent's playing Gruel Aggro or Mono Green. Or something else. You never know. Fabled Passage, Uncracked. We just reveal that we're playing four colors. What are you going to do? Crack that Fabled Passage out of fear for our fourth color. Okay. Green White. At least. I can't wait to see what you'll be playing next. Still waiting, or still can't waiting. Depends. I just want to storm rat the board. Put stuff on the board, please. Yes. Perfect target for storm rat is a 1 1. Okay, so it's a Naya deck. They get to foretell this. The opponent will never guess that it's a Doom Scar. So the opponent is going to hold back their threats so that they don't get board wiped by our three board wipes. Shoot down of the scouts. Okay. The opponent wants to play some stuff. We've got green, right? Yes, we do. We've got plenty of red. Let's cast this on green and play Toski, very bearer of secrets. Alright, you get to put plus one, plus one counters as you cast spells. That Edgewall Innkeeper is gonna get huge. 
is going to be turning that gym, uh, that inn into a gym and working out before the showdown of the scouts. So those are both an Ember Cleave, another showdown, a Vivian, and a Pathway. So I guess it's path yeah, Pathway of Vivian. And the innkeeper's now a 2 2. You know what's nice, opponent? Storm Rat actually deals damage to planeswalkers. Kaboom! Oh, let's draw. Because that's what this deck is all about. Drawing cards. Drawing cards off of the Tolski. Alright. You still get to put plus one plus one counters on stuff that's gonna get ratted. Go on. Play some creatures. I dare you. Love Strike Beast. Ooh, the tutu. Shine killer as well. The opponent is committing to the board. Yeah, we have double what? Like Instinct would say, bye bye bye. I'm going to blow up your side of the board and draw a card. So we never run out of rats. And eventually we get to play a 7-7. Seven, seven. Round Cloak Giant. And opponent resigns because they see the writing on a wall, which is Doom Scar and more board wipes, while our Squirrel of Death keeps on poking them. We are playing Toski on MTG Arena Standard against a Flame Bird. Goldspan Dragger? Phoenix of Ash? Boat? Alluras deck. Okay. That probably means rogues or white weenies. Rogues is bad, white weenies is really good. Best matchup for us. Uh, I guess it's rogues. Rogues is tricky. And I think quite favored in the matchup. We do pack a lot of removal. We'll see whether it does the trick. Hmm. Kinda want a scorching dragon fire that. Yeah, I have a green source there, so I can play this as a white. Exile the Thieves Guild Enforcer. One of the problems is we don't want to get milled. Especially since our wind condition is a little slow. Wind Robber. If that's your only threat. Then we'll foretell the Doom Scar. And player tap land. It's all about opportunities. Speaking of opportunities, our opponent just found one to bring a soaring thought thief. We get milled to six, which means a perfect opportunity for us to play a storm's raft. Would have been better if we could have get the wind robber, but I'll take two soaring thought thieves for sure. Storm's Wrap. Unless you have a concerted defense. These creatures are going down. Now we're gonna start having some fun. Ooh, yes. Hemophage. Rash Donner. Don't counter it. Do not counter. Attempt to destroy. Ah. See that grin? Yeah, that's the grin that you get after being drowned in the lock. It goes from no to 
Dagony's Awakening brings back a pair of creatures. Then we'll take our opportunity to resolve our Brash Honor. And we'll pass the turn back. You may resume with the milling. Also, we only have one. Uh, one board wipe left, so we'll need to be slightly careful. It's likely that our opponent wants to play it into the story. Okay, a second board wipe. Something. But we definitely want to Doomscar here. Because then we get to play the insatiable Hemophage. Let's mutate on the Brash Donner. You can't possibly have a third copy now, can you? No, you don't. There we go. Drain you. No need to attack. I keep my 3 3 Death Touch indestructible that gets to fight your creatures on the battlefield. To keep at bay that Thief Skilled Enforcer, you may bill me. That is fine. As long as you let my Shatter resolve. Storm's Wrath is even better. Attempt to Storm's Wrath? It resolves. You know you want to. Sag the Wind Robber and let it resolve. Excellent. Because not only do we wipe the board, but we also burn our opponent for four. Thanks to Brash Honor's ability. And we you for three. And now, we're in a good spot. Lurus. You don't scare me, Cat of Doom. You don't scare me at all. But, just for safe measures, we can play Squirrel do. Start drawing a few cards here and there. And you can't counter this critter. Hit you for three, draw card. Play it. And pass the turn back. You get a Lurus. You get a Soaring Tatif. And you get Shattered. Oh, you're getting Shattered bad. Shatter the Scap. I'd like to draw two cards. Nah, I don't even need to foretell. I'll keep the Fire Prophecy as an option. And our opponent resigns in the face of the insatiable Brash Donner and a gazillion board wipes. We're playing Toski on MTG Arena Centered against Shantaclan. This is a bit of an awkward hand. The lack of red source is disturbing. Let's keep it anyways. I have faith that we can draw into a red source. And probably even a second one. Opponent dresses. Now that's interesting. And what do you see? Removal. More removal. Almost only removal that we cannot cast. As we draw more removal that we cannot cast. It's okay, because ultimately we are going to be able to cast that Realm Cloak Giant. What is playing snow mana, which is interesting. Sculptor of Winter. 
We need to stop drawing stuff we cannot cast. Or even better, red source would be awesome. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Take two damage from the sculptor. Yes! We draw our red source. Which we will instantly use to kill that sculptor of winter. And trade in a dragon fire for a Toski, bearer of secrets. Bone flashes a wildborn preserver. Trying to put a resemblance of pressure. Alright. And now that's a 3 3 death touch. Uh, I already have green mana. Uh, double white, so I can start doing anything I want with my land. And cast Oski! Let's see how you respond to my 1 1 indestructible scroll of doom. Opponents reading the card. I'll take the opportunity to look at the bar kill. So elves grid black mana. It give creatures death touch. Alright. You get to make that wildborn preserver big if you want. Fetch stuff with Harold, the King of Skimfar. The Elf Warrior. Sculptor of Winter. Alright, make some mana. Cast the Sculptor. What do you do here? Make an elf creature? Like the okay. That's fun and all, but... You've seen the Realm Cloak Giant. And now it comes. Wipes out, well, most of the board. And we'll go to draw card. And we'll pass the turn back. And now we really need that second red source. So you get to play Storm's Wrath. We also need to keep that Tavar in check. That emblem is problematic. Alright. Herald unites the elves. It really is Herald that unites the elves. But you're out of mana now. Mostly. Nothing gives plus one plus one counter in each elf you control. Ooh. The third chapter on this is a problem. Second chapter is fine. Need to keep you off of your ultimate, so well. Actually, your opponent doesn't know we don't have a trick. So let's attack with Tolki. Tolski. Alright, there's the block. I'll play the dragon fire to keep your loyalty down. Let's make a show. Well, foretell our Doom Scar, and it'll cause the turn back. So, with the Scorching Dragon Fire to Tavar and Doom Scar to blow up the board, we should be able to take down Tavar. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be able to take down Tavar. Realm Walker, the source of infinite elves. Yes, we can take a beating. Red green, scorching dragon fire to Var. Doom scar to board. Clear a second red source and get rid of Tavar. Because it's a problematic permanent. And now the third chapter is a problem if you have a hasty health. But if you don't, then Tolski is going to start drawing 
an insane amount of cards and ultimately win the game. Mm. Tulski, now with Death Touch. Drain you for one. Well, it's better than indestructible. 1-1 one, one is an indestructible 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I really should have foretold that Doomscar. You can tell me all about it in the comments. But I know. I know. Probably not going to matter, though. As we have our room club giant. Might as well play the 7 7 to support our 3 3 dead toucher. And that is good enough. We can play our Brash Donner now. Just taunting our opponent, letting him know that we have a taunter, really. Play our, our third red source. Mass Vandal will not be good enough. Wildborn Preserver. I kind of want to finish off our opponent with a Brash Donner, but we'll play a second Doski. Just showing off that we, we don't care about the legendary rule. And that is game. Good game, opponent. Good game. We are playing Toski on MTG Arena Standard against Dayton. We have a Scroll of Doom, a Board Wipe, a Scorching Dragon, Fire, and a Hemophage. So we will be keeping this. Although the mana is a little awkward. We're starting with this. So we want a red source. I'd like to keep this for green. Light for black. Foretell the Doomscar. To confuse our opponent. Opponent might be playing Jeskai Control. Bird of Miletus. That is fine. Let's see how well the deck fares in the control matchup. You've got a wall. Green for Toski. How well can you deal with indestructible squirrels? You can try to burn, you can try to kill, but it's not gonna work. Okay, you're playing one of those. Alright, alright. Well, no, I'd rather wipe out your board and draw my card. Yes. Squirrel strikes again. So the opponent is planning on playing a Luka and bringing out a huge creature from their deck. But we're not gonna let that happen. Gonna have a phage. Scary squirrel time. Keep on drawing. I do need some white sources to play the Doom Scar and Shatter. Harmonious Archon. Okay. That's a little annoying. I wish I could Shatter. I think we want to. Double up on the Archon. Well, first let's attack with the Hemophage. Put an old block. That's okay. Then let's Fire Prophecy the Archon. We don't need that other Scorching Dragon fire. We do need this one, though. Then old 
play red source and pass the turn. So the opponent still has one blocker, which we're short two white sources. And then our Archon is troublesome. Well, there's one white source. We have to attack. We will place it white source and hard cast the Hammer Page as a blocker. I guess we could have drained our opponent for four. I'd rather have a blocker here. Saves us three life and three life for next turn. Okay, and the opponent wins. Our room's epiphany. Tolki was good, but not indestructible enough because it couldn't protect our life total. We are playing Toski on MTG Arena Standard against Axe Axe 1989. All right, we have a Toski. We have some lands. We cover most of our colors, so we we'll want to cast this for green. There's no question there. So we get to cast our Bear of Secret on time. The question is, do we want to set up the Insatiable Hemophage? I think we cast this on white, which means that this will have to go on red. Because we want to be able to cast Shatter the Sky or Storm's Rat on curve. Yes, we will take one. Not overly con concerned with your speech speaker. Second speaker. Alright, another board wipe. Hmm. I'd like to hold this land back, but I don't really have a choice. So I'll play it. It'll pass the turn. I think about 95% of our lands are actually either white or red, and since we have the Shatter and the Storm's Wrath, either would be fine. Luminarch. This I will remove. Before combat, of course. You may poke at me with your men in white robes. That's too bad, if I would have known. Now we need the red source. Actually, let, we have a turn to play Toski. Yes, Squirrel of Doom. Fully charged and enabled. Except that you place Kaikli of Apparitions. Which are thorns in its side. But you may not have the, this Kaikli of Apparition right now. You're pondering your move. Oh, okay. So that's an Angels deck. Uh, you might be playing Angels, but Angels will not save you from Toski. As I wrath your board and swing to draw card. And since that's a squirrel, that's what we call chip damage. And that's when your opponent is supposed to say, are you nuts? And to that we answer, no, but if you're gonna block, you're gonna be blocking that touch. As I drain you for one. Draw card. Let's put for black. Why not? And you know what's nice about insatiable hemophages? Is that they're not Toskis. Which means that we get to play another Toski and bypass the legendary rule. Opponents playing Angel Clerics. Shall we shatter? I think we want to shatter. Or 
far as you can play second Toski. That's always nice. Yeah, let's play the second Toski. If you don't block, I draw two. How threatening are my squirrels now, opponent? I'd say very threatening. Now let's foretell the doom of our opponent. That's going to scar them. That's the point at which I should stop making puns. As soon as video will not be postable. Oh, that's okay. And now the coup de grace. More board wipes. Let's play this for wipe. <laughs> and that's enough. Double Toski for draw four is plenty to take down our opponent. We are playing Toski on MTG Arena Standard against SL25. Three lands, Toski, and a pair of board wipes. Just what we want. Well, we'd want a second white service, but we're playing four colors. Can't complain. We'll find it eventually. Let's play our planes for a swamp. Known as the Indata Trio. Opponents playing red deck wins. As we see from the fervent champion, fervently championing at our face. It's not telegraphed to do Doomscar yet. We'll probably want a Scorching Dragon Fire here. Also, we're missing double white to actually play Doomscar. That's why we kept the Scorching Dragon Fire. Because the second Fervent Champion hurts too much. Sure. You can rock now or later. Does not matter to me. I already have a green source, so let's settle our reds. I kind of want to keep the Scorching Dragon Fire for Nanax. But the opponent should have played it this turn. So I hope to draw a land here. And we do. Okay. Let's green and Toski. And pass the turn back. So, we have a good blocker for the Rimrock Knight. I guess the worst thing your opponent could play is Ember Cleave. Just attack and cleave. But then we counter with a Storm of Wrath. Which puts our opponent in a sticky situation. Now they can't cleave. Ooh, this is good. Opponent has a Shatter the Sky. I'm pretty sure this is a good game. Storm's Wrath. And draw one. And passing the turn back. And that's how you beat Mono Red with your four drop. And a ton of board wipes. Always nice to beat Mono Red. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. It won't cost you any mana. And it greatly helps to support this channel. And keep the awesome videos coming. Until next time. May the fun be with you.